this is the dying art right here. That dying art is the making and use of 35 millimeter film. Sandra Sennett and her husband have owned and operated the Sennett Theater since 1974. She says the Hollywood studios are getting rid of 35 millimeter film and forcing her to spend thousands of dollars on new digital equipment. Just the sound equipment will be about 60,000. And then when you get your digital camera and everything that goes with it, that'll be another 50 some odd thousand. Some of, it usually runs about $110,000 to get the whole system set in. This extra cost comes at an especially difficult time for Sandra and her family, who were just recovering from a devastating fire a year ago. People came in and dug these dirty seats out that were burnt and the ceiling had to come down, the walls had to come down. There were people that had been laid off that just came in and worked and it helped us get back. Sandra's son Bob understands the changeover to digital, but he says there's a very special magic to these rolls of celluloid that will be lost forever. There's a lot of love and a lot of people's time went into this film right here because this, this soundtrack has to be so far ahead of this picture because of the fact that the sound hit is farther down in the camera. And just for 35 millimeter, there's so many people, there were so many people that put their heart and soul into making this movie. But like it or not, for this community theater to stay open, the Senate will have to change with the times. And whether it's film or digital, Sandra said she will still be at the ticket window greeting her customers. Hi, how are you tonight? Welcome to the Senate Theater. We're glad to have you here tonight. Stephen Johnson, KHQA News, Ellsbury, Missouri.